<laughs> but, so so you feel like fanatic was wrong. Wrong. I don't. That, that's a harsh word. But if I had to generalize it, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because just because of. To me, he was still processing a lot of stuff in the video because it, it wasn't nothing absolute. It was just a lot of, to me, kind of rambling, kind of like he processes in the moment to where it's like. Conjecture, maybe. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't nothing like, hey, this is what I'm on. This is how I feel. I, th I think it's because it's not finite, though. I think it's a rabbit hole. If if you did you ever, did you hear the ambassador's response to mm, this video though? Yeah, I didn't. He went in on that. And, not, and so what look, I, I would say it like look, this though. Look, and he would have. But but I, I say it like this though. Him not. Like I, but I right. but really though the meat and potatoes of what he said was is not so much in the things that he was saying, but it was just like when you've experienced not just what somebody told you. What you've been conditioned to, what you heard. Like you went and came and researched and, and you came to these conclusions yourself. And so for you to come to these conclusions yourself, but then go back because of some other things other people are saying and other stuff maybe you don't have an answer to, and you already questioned yourself and you came to this conclusion on your own. And then because like, oh, Shay says, oh, dang, but you're negating everything that you experienced over here. Like, you know this for a fact yourself. You experience this on your own because I say something. Now you're questioning. That was kind of the way, the place that he was coming from. I need to listen to it again because I didn't think it to no, but be the, like an I said, but, on the face. But I, but I would say, well, no, but he, he, he also said too, though, I did. that he didn't consider what he said an attack on the faith. I didn't. I didn't. You I, know, I Ambassador it, said the same thing. I he saw didn't consider it an attack as a on the realization. Faith. I mm -hmm. saw it as a reckoning. Yeah. Like within himself. Yeah, I think I think that was that moment. But then I look at it just like what you said earlier, just talking about you're you're aware of who you're talking to, impact. the impact of it. Impact. And stuff of that nature. And so now honestly, like when <laughs> Because you, if it works for someone, you don't want to be responsible if the law of attraction is what it is. You don't want to be responsible. For having them shift that energy. Mm -hmm. If the law of attraction can shift from sincere to shipwreck. Right. So do you think, you, so you don't think anything that was said in that video could, could lead to shipwreck? Because for me, I, I say yes. As far as I, I his, think, his. I think traditional deliverance of the gospel lead, lends more to it. Mm. Well, I mean, what would you consider traditional? Uh, yeah, I get the abuse of grace. I get it. Yeah, I think we all abuse it, really, to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Like So it's not new then. Abusing it? Or the concept. Or the concept? No. I think that's that's what Jesus came for. I mean, I mean I mean not to abuse it, but just um, you know Who killed him? His church killed him. His church killed him. The government was like, Leave me alone, leave me out of this. His church killed him. Mm, his church. Hold on. Read the story, bro. I'm, 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 I'm rethinking it now. I'm just like, I'm thinking like, no, because when you say the church, the government, like Pilate, yeah, wash his hands was the of the government. whole thing. Yeah, he basically government. was like, this man is Who innocent. Who was pressing the issue? He was like, this right, man right, is right. innocent. I'm washing my hand up. Yeah. So but, there was a system that I don't think the system is different than back in that time. When, I mean, but going back to what he was talking about, mental conditioning, like a lot, the reason why, and this is where research comes in, the reason why they set Barabbas free, he was a political prisoner. He was someone who was trying to overthrow the government. Right. Judas Iscariot was somebody who was of that same mindset of, oh, he coming 
we finna overthrow the Romans. Right. Part of his reason of betrayal was not about the money. Yeah. It was about the fact like, he betrayed oh, him. you fit, which, which is exactly why yeah. he brought all them Roman soldiers because he's seen all these miracles. So now I'm finna force your hand. When they come and try to get you, you're going to have to, what uh, Kevin Hart said in his paper, rain fire on these, but you're going you gonna to have to get them. <laughs> and, and so he, he was like, I'm going to go right up to the person yeah. because he was anticipating when I go up to him, now he's going to have to react. Show who he is. You see what I'm saying? And so he saw in that moment when Jesus is like, I could call down 12 legions of Asians, but right, I'm going right. to let y'all slide. Which is why, and, and again, the mental conditioning, we demonized Judas. He was actually the only one who showed repentance, although it was self righteousness. He was <coughs> he was so remorseful that he thought I'm gonna kill he's myself. The only way. This, this is the, the only way. Right, 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 right. But look, but look, he look. legitimately was he legitimately he tried sorrow. to give exactly. He legitimately tried to give the money back. Yeah. He legitimately tried to make it right. He tried to do it within himself. Uh-huh. Think he would have had the greatest Eve. testimony of everybody. We demonize Eve. Yeah, and it goes back to what you're saying. I tell like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what he tell the nigga. Eve? What did he tell Eve? Yeah. That you're not like God. This will make you like God. What Eve really say? When she ate. I want to be like God. I want to be like God. Mm-hmm. That's different. Yeah. Now, wanna... But, but now I was saying, like, so... A lot of the Jewish people thought that when Jesus came, and which is why Herod was killing all the babies, like whoever this Messiah is, is yeah, going to overthrow. Go. It's going to bring a war. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He had one of his own disciples. Jude, Judas thought like when this person comes, it's going to be a revolution. Like the word Iscariot means son of Kerioff. That was all actually of them did, a yeah. not a religious. All of sick. them thought that's how he was. Yeah, they, to come. but it, it right. was a group of people who thought that like when this Messiah comes, he's going to overthrow. The government, and then he sees Jesus moving and ain't doing none of that. So I'm gonna speed up the process. Doesn't happen. But Pilate is like, this dude innocent. Right. I wash my hands. Y'all, y'all do it. But they're like, okay, you know what? We're gonna set free the dude who was killing, <coughs> you know, to try to overthrow the government. Not gonna be on my hands. You see what yeah. I'm saying? And so, on the one hand, you, you do have that. Uh, that mental conditioning, and, and we all have it to a degree in certain things. I think we all do. Like yeah, so, yeah, 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 like yeah, I'm, I'm not arguing. Can't. I'm not arguing. Can't. Challenge it. Right. I, ain't, I ain't saying it's wrong. I'm right. saying challenge it. Right. But but, but my thing it's true, is, it, though, it, it, if it's true, it'll stand. When when you've experienced certain like that, and that's my part of. It. Yeah. If you're somebody who doesn't know, and you you're just going off of what you heard and what somebody told you. But, like, you've experienced certain things. And I remember, and Crown can attest to this, uh, I was talking to some of the dudes that used to be in their group. Last show we did with the label we were part of, we were at this church. We didn't even get to perform. Like, they were always the opening, you know, act. they would do their one song, then we'd do another song, and then we'd go into, like, the 20, 30-minute show. They started doing their song. They were doing the chorus. I could, like, the music hadn't even come on. They started doing the chorus of their song. This was in the church that taught that, like, you know, the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit had passed out. They started doing the chorus of the song. Kids, six, seven, eight, nine, they just started crying. They started praying in tongues. Mm-hmm. They got their hands up. They're crying. They're weeping. And they they just started praying. And so now the, the grown folks in the back going to the mental condition, they can't believe it because we've been teaching and telling you like this ain't it mm-hmm. they don't know what to say because here i am i've been saved 20 30 years i ain't never did it and my grandson my nephew my son he's doing it and i'm sitting up here looking goofy because we've been teaching this and i'm talking about wasn't a single one mm-hmm. and we're standing but we started looking at each other like oh my god like and keep in mind I go to, we do that <laughs> at our church. Like, we do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up here. It wasn't strange to me, but just to see, I had never, I had heard people talk about it. I had never seen it. And it wasn't no prayer. It wasn't no scriptures being read. They would, they started yeah. doing the chorus to their song. And I mean, it just, and I mean, like, I mean, I'm talking about snot and tears coming out of their eyes. 
And like they just start doing so like when you have an experience, like somebody punched you in the face, I can't tell you that didn't hurt. You felt it. You got the knot on your face. You see what I'm saying? So that's like you getting hit in the face, you got the knot, it hurt, you had to go to the hospital and all that, and then you saying, you know what? When I when I experienced that, it was just the concept and the thought and the idea of pain that I just can't go through. And I, <laughs> no, you know what if you had to call off work, like right. we had to buy the alcohol. But you know that, and and that from my my aspect, that that was having met him, opened up for him, done a show with him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like we had a conversation. I'm listening to you talk. This ain't no. I know conditioning. I grew up around conditioning. I went to seminary with conditioning. I'm hearing you talk. That ain't conditioning. You you realize you know like I know. You got something that you experienced like I experienced. Like we connected on that because I'm listening to you. That goes beyond what I heard in your music. Oh, like this is for real, for real. So now though, I'm listening to the video. I'm not question if that's where you are. Because I respect you as a person, yeah, and as a brother, if that's where you at, cool. But I question because I remember when we had this conversation, and and it wasn't no cameras, it wasn't no microphones, it wasn't no audience. It's like how we even though it's people gonna be watching the pod, but it was an intimate setting, and it's just me and him rapping, and you're telling me, mm. and you're volunteering it. I didn't just <laughs> grill you. What about this? Like you're you're telling me what you did and how you walked and how it happened for you, just step by step. And I'm like, for real, dang. And so now for you to go back, but it's based off of, and you're going off of stuff you're seeing in the world and things you have. And, and that may, and that's not in, to invalidate that. All of that may be true, but that doesn't negate your own experience. Uh -huh. And so. Where you get faith for an experience though? I thought you could even do that without faith for it. No, I mean you can't have faith apart from someone having told you about it because faith doesn't come apart from hearing. From hearing, yeah. So where do you get the faith for it? Because if you have to have faith for that, I thought. No, that's true. I mean, but it's a difference in hearing something and believing it can happen and being conditioned. Conditioned me conditioning is almost like training. Conditioning conditioning was set expectation. Yeah, but I mean, but like, fake. like playing sports in high school when you did conditioning, it was a training. It was a constant, repetitive thing of Just you. Set expectation. True, but if I hear something one time, that's not necessarily conditioning, right? Because I haven't gone through a that's process of saying. training. That's all I'm saying. So where did they get the faith for it from? Not with, but again, and or that, else this is another, or or else this is a contradiction that is inherent within it. Well, I'm just saying from the sense of. Not necessarily growing up in it and constantly hearing it and constantly. I'm just saying, learning by, about by it. its own it standard. One time you start right, 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 right. studying but and by researching. By its standard, by its own, not ours, not mine, not yours, not his. By its standard, it has to be accompanied with the faith for it. I get, I get you what you're saying on that. I get you what you're saying on that. Cause and, and so every time there was a healing that took place that Jesus was a part of, why? They, yeah. Cause the people, so are you going to tell me the law of attraction ain't real? Because then you got to tell me the law of gravity ain't. And then you got to prove it. Because I found law of attraction in the Bible. Keep it presidential.